MMA Boxing Talk here. I just want to talk about the fight that just got announced today, and that is Yair Rodriguez versus BJ Penn. Um, you know, you got the old legend in BJ Penn versus the young next level striker in Yair Rodriguez. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a weird matchup. I'm not gonna lie, um, but it is interesting because you know you have BJ Penn, who's this legend. You have Yuri Rodriguez, who's this young kid on his way up. Um, I mean, a win over BJ Penn would be I don't know how big it would be, but it would be big for Yuri Rodriguez because everyone knows who BJ Penn is, you know. Um, so in that sense. It'd be a good name on his resume, despite BJ being way past his prime. You know, like, you know, it'll be two and a half years since his last fight. So that just, that's all you need to really know. Um, but yeah, I mean, Yair Rodriguez is going to win this fight. I, I can't see BJ Penn winning this fight. Um, he's got a lot of toughness for sure. I, I know that. And he's experienced. But I mean, um, Yair Rodriguez is just on a whole nother level. Like, BJ Penn's never, ever seen a fighter that's anywhere close to Yair Rodriguez when it comes to striking. You know, this, this guy is so um, unique with his, his striking approach. Um, he's very creative as well, and he, he's very high risk taker. Um, so it will be an exciting fight. Two exciting fighters, I will say that. Um, it's UFC Fight Night. 103. It's going to be January 15th, by the way, in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, the rest of the card, you know, it's not, doesn't have me too excited, but I'm always excited to see Yair Rodriguez fight. He's a guy on my radar. Um, and I mean, BJ Penn, I mean, you, you can't miss him fight, especially, you know, since it's been two and a half years since his last fight. Um, yeah, I just had to put out a video for this. It's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, I definitely have Yair Rodriguez winning this fight. I just think, you know, his movement is going to be very, very tricky for BJ Penn to deal with. I think he's going to have a hard time closing the gap. I think Yair is going to be able to hit him with those kicks at a distance. You know, he'll be able to land on BJ when BJ can't land on him. But I do think, you know, and, and he always does. He, Yair, you know, uses his kicks a lot. He's very kick heavy. Um, and I think, you know, the same will be in this fight. I think he'll do the same. Yair, Yair Rodriguez, you know, he doesn't have the best boxing. His hands aren't the best. Uh, we saw that against, you know, in his last fight against Alex Caceres. Caceres definitely outboxed him with, just with his hands, you know. But um, but BJ, you know, he's not the, the best boxer anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait. I'm excited for this. I think it's a cool matchup. It's de definitely an unusual matchup. You know, it wouldn't be, you know, I would have liked to see BJ Penn fight Dennis Seaver. That, that would have been the fight I would have liked to see. Um, but you know, this is like BJ Penn, you know, he better, he better end up making it to this fight because I mean, he's had so many fights that were scheduled in the last year or two. None of them all ever fall through. They're always official. They're you know they're um, they're signed by both teams. Have signed to to take the fight, and there's always something that comes up. Never you know BJ never ends up fighting. Like I said, it's two and a half years um, that he's been since his last fight. But um, let's hope he gets to the octagon for this one. Hopefully, it'll be a good fight. That's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMA Boxing Talk One. Peace.